can you make a video about blocks? blocks. Ashley, can you make a video about blocks? Can you make a video about blocks? Ashley, Ashley can you make a video about, about, about blocks? Can you tell us about blocks? Blocks. Can you tell us about blocks? blocks. blocks. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll do it, I'll do it. Hello, my beautiful, curious friends. If you don't know me, my name is Ashley Vassal, and if you do, welcome back. This video has been requested by many, and I've been avoiding it. I'm sorry for avoiding it. I didn't really want to go and post a super negative, complainy video because that's not what I'm about. I don't really like that energy on my channel, but at the same time, you have every right to know how I feel and how other students feel about this new testing system, and it's only right that I give you some opinions about it. And remember, these are my opinions. It's just how I feel. It's just how other students feel. Maybe you'll feel completely differently. Maybe you'll talk to somebody else and they'll tell you that I'm stupid and I have dumb opinions. Besides the point, you guys wanted my opinions and I'm gonna give it to you. I just finished finals this week and I can honestly tell you block exams had nothing to do with my success on my final exams. So let's start from the beginning. When I first entered Ross with the four exam system and each exam was weighted 25% of our final grade. I really like this system. It's what I had been used to since undergrad and it's what I signed up for coming to Ross. I did not enter Ross under the impression that they would completely change the testing style and the grading scale. And now, after experiencing three semesters of block exams, I can confidently form opinion on how I feel about them. I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Got that out in the air. I don't, and I'm not alone, and there are a small minority of people who do like them, many of which are new students who that's all they know. Some are upper semesters who have found a way to adjust to it. So first of all, what are block exams? Block exams are a weekly exam that consists of all of your subjects. So each subject has a section, it's not all mixed in together. So it'll be like clinical pathology, pathology, pharmacology. So all of their questions are within their own section, but it's all within one big beautiful exam. And each subject has a certain amount of questions based on how many credits that course is, which can be anywhere from like nine to 15-ish questions more or less. So let's say a subject has a nine question exam and you get three of those questions wrong. That's a 67 and you just failed that subject's exam this week, which I did plenty of times. Now administration is gonna say to you, well, that's only one exam and it's only worth like 6% of your grade. So that one F isn't really that big of a deal. And yes, a 67 is an F, anything below a 70 is an F. Welcome to vet school. But then it happens again and again and again. And don't forget about the cumulative portion of the exam and also the new material that you have to study for that subject. And also you have like three other classes to study for as well. So there's gonna be a lot covered on this exam. And it's a lot to do every single week throughout the whole semester. There are plenty of students who agree with me on this and there's definitely some that don't and they do like blocks. But as usual, if I'm gonna make an opinionated video, I'm gonna reach out to some students and find out how they feel. One student said, yeah, they don't help with anything. They just make stress levels high every week instead of once a month. Another said, yes, grades have improved, but I'm retaining less and it's because I can't actually sit down and process the material for those medicine courses because it's just a week to week cycle. There isn't much digesting going on. It's kind of like taking the material, spit it out, get a good grade, okay, time for next week. Someone said it does force them to not put off studying for any subject, which is nice, but the amount of time they have studied is more now compared to when there weren't blocks. It's kind of a lot of time and effort to commit for all this material to be dispersed over just a few questions. It honestly just feels like dumping. Okay, yeah, exactly to this point. Some weeks I'll have like four pages of notes and other weeks I have like eight to ten pages of notes. Mind you, size 10 font, 0.5 margins, single spaced. And it's like I have to learn all of this for just 12 questions when three or four of those questions are going to be cumulative material from like weeks ago. Now this next person I talked to, they've been working so hard the minute that they got into veterinary school for those A's. I don't know anybody that works harder than them. And they said they definitely feel like they have studied more consistently, which gives them no time for breaks ever during the semester. She feels like she has zero breaks and can take zero breaks. She even said that for her birthday dinner, she knew that going out meant she'd lose points on the block, which meant losing her A. And that is such an awesome point because I've definitely been there where I wanna go out and have fun and make plans. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about this next exam and how it isn't going to go how I expected because I'm out losing study time. Like that is crazy to me that I can't even enjoy myself and take a day off because then I have this whole fear inside of me that I'm losing study time. Like what? I. <sighs> I'm getting fired up. I warned you guys I did not want to make this video because ah! The weekly reviewing and testing then getting the grades you weren't expecting messes with your confidence. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it'll be crazy. Some weeks I work super hard and other weeks I don't and I'll just be guessing and I'll get the same exact grade that I did the week before and it's like, what is the point of even trying? 
This friend of mine had a 97 walking into her pharmacology final. A 97! And she was reviewing her old material and she couldn't recall most of it. So clearly these block exams aren't helping me retain things. They're just showing that I can absorb stuff, brain dump it, and then move on to the next week. I'll quote her here because she said it beautifully. The grades are so meaningless with respect to what material we actually know. Now I did speak to one person that actually liked blocks. They feel like they've retained better with blocks if the cumulative material is done properly and even though they are crushing it and they enjoyed blocks, their study schedule was super strict and they actually had to review the old stuff. So pretty much they had to beat the material into their brain throughout the whole semester, which yes, they were more prepared, but they were also super tired. So the overall consensus, whether you like blocks or you don't like blocks, is that burnout happens and it happens much faster. I just want to make a little disclaimer here. Please don't take this video and my complaining as, oh, she doesn't like studying. Well, you're in grad school, you're in vet school, you signed up to study, blah, 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 blah. No, I am fully aware of studying. I'm very aware of how to study, how to commit to things. I understood what I was walking into when I signed up for veterinary school. I'm not saying I'm unhappy with studying. I'm okay with that. I knew what I was coming into. I'm not okay with the fact that I need to push myself beyond my limits, burn myself out, just be really strict with my life and not even take a break in order to be successful. And mind you, when we had the normal exam structure, I was never waiting for the night before to prepare for the exam. That was never me. Get hot, literally I'm getting hot about this. At least you know I feel passionately about what I'm saying. What I really struggle with is that we never finish a unit in one week. So if a professor just introduced a new topic and I don't get it because there's still more stuff to go over, that makes the block exam that week so much more challenging for me. I didn't get enough time to digest the material or even get all the material about that topic fully and now I'm being tested on it. And it kind of turns into instead of me actually learning it, I'm just memorizing the material and dumping it all out during the exam and then moving on to the next week, not really remembering what I just learned that week. I'm not really retaining much. And then the following week goes by, we finish the unit and I understand why I got all those exam questions wrong. And it sucks because if I just had those exam questions in a big unit exam, I would have gotten it all right because I would have been able to digest it all and put all the pieces together and make it all make sense. The other crazy thing that happened when black exams were introduced is how subject exams are weighted now. For most of my courses, the final is worth 40% of my grade. Why is that? Why am I putting myself through so much throughout the whole semester if a final can make or break me. I'm taking 10 or 11 exams throughout the whole semester. I'm running myself into the ground. I'm getting burnt out. Everybody's getting burnt out. And these exams are not even worth 70% of my grade, if more. That is just weird to me. Like, why am I working so hard when my grade can just drop? And this just adds so much more pressure to the stress that finals already has. Like, I have to either get a high B or A to keep my grades in the class, just keep them. So you're telling me I worked so hard all semester and this final could completely ruin the grade that I've been working towards for the past 13 weeks? You gotta be kidding me. The point I'm making is not the fact that how heavy the finals are weighted, it's the fact that I'm working so hard all semester and it really doesn't even matter because it can all get taken from me with one exam. When blocks were first introduced, students were definitely opposed, but since they said weekly testing was not going anywhere, we tried to offer new ideas based on what students had experienced in their undergrad school. Some students said their undergrad did weekly quizzing, but they still had their normal exams. I had a class that did this in undergrad and we did weekly clicker questions. I really appreciate it because it kept me on top of my material but if I had a bad week and I wasn't on top of my material it didn't hit my grade that badly especially because I still had those regular exams and when they were first introduced people said that students will probably want to transfer and will transfer someone on administration said to me personally that if students want to transfer they can if they want an easier education I can't believe he said that and easier education so do the other vet schools who don't use block exams have an easier education even though they have higher navli scores than us also is he just openly admitting that the block exam system is hard and validating our complaints there was definitely a much better way to answer that and that was not it I wish that administration would listen to our ideas. It's our education, isn't it? And hear me out, I wouldn't be complaining if I knew this is what I was getting myself into. But I already had a vet school study routine that I was comfortable with and I knew was working for me. I had my schooling figured out. And I know that there are some upper semester students that adjusted to make it work, but I need to prioritize my mental health. And the best thing for me is in not running myself into the ground every single week, even though it feels like it, but that's just me. This is just me and I know what's best for me and I know what's 
what's best for my mental health. Everybody's different. Everybody has different goals and I respect that. But this is what I've become aware of after three semesters of block exams. You know, pushing through it and burning out is not worth it to me for those amazing grades. And I know plenty of people who do push themselves like that. And no hate to them. I'm very proud and impressed with how hard they work. And I even tell them that I get upset for them when they don't get A's on block exams. Like they're working this hard and they're still not seeing straight A's on every single exam. That's crazy to me. And it's all because if you get a few questions wrong, you lost your A. Like what? And people are gonna watch this video and they're gonna go down to the comments and they're gonna be like, I like block exams. And what I'm trying to make you understand, at least for me, is that I didn't like block exams because it changed my study routine when I was already used to a different form of testing. And as you go up into these upper semesters where your courses are more elaborate and you need the big picture to really understand it all, you're gonna run yourself into the ground and burn out to get those good grades. This is what I want you to understand because even people who do like block exams, they're telling me that they have to pretty much burn themselves out to get those good grades. Fun fact, anatomy professors actively told us they do not support block exams and feel that anatomy has no place in that type of testing, which makes complete sense since we're not learning the material actively in lecture, we learn it when we finally dissect the animal. However, the administration in charge of blocks said no, which is odd because admin isn't the ones teaching anatomy, the anatomy professors are. But hey. And if you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. You can go online to that like student doctor network forum thing and you can look up Ross Vet block exams and you can see a whole chain of opinions. If I were to say something positive about block exams, I would say that they saved me for just two subjects, bacteriology and parasitology. And it wasn't because every single exam was helping me with my memory retention. It was because I only studied that week's stuff and then just dumped it all out and then moved on to the next week. It wasn't because I was learning the material better. Mind you, there are medical schools that do use the block exam system, but they use it a little differently. They set their block exams based on units. So each course is usually teaching the same kind of topic at the same time. So their block exams line up and the material makes sense. Whereas for me, my course is never really line up with the units. And so I'm like, okay, clinical pathology, uh, okay, this, 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 this. Then I move on to pathology and like, all right, let me like switch my thoughts for a minute and move on to this subject. It's hard to switch gears in your mind, especially if you're getting hung up on one course, because it's not like these 40, 50 questions are getting dispersed to one course. These 40, 50 questions are 40, 50 questions of four courses. And I know that the NAVLE is gonna be a combination of all these things, but by the time you're taking the NAVLE, you already learned these things. It's not your first time being tested on them. It's a whole different ball game when you're talking about the NAVLE. I don't really like to compare this block exam testing to preparing me for the NAVLE because I'm learning it for the first time in the block exam, whereas the NAVLE, I've already been tested on it plenty of times, I've reviewed it plenty of times, and now I'm finally putting the whole thing together. I really believe the current system is flawed and there are plenty of kinks that still need to be ironed out, but they just rushed implementing this system. We've also asked plenty of times in our town halls for proof that the block exam system is working and they haven't really been able to show us any of that proof. And also if they did have proof, I don't think that it would represent actual academic improvement because think about it. If we all don't like blocks, we're not gonna go and willingly perform poorly on exams for the sake of proving to Ross's data collection about the block exams that they don't work. We're just gonna run ourselves into the ground to get those good grades. And there is a veterinary school that did do this. They worked out the kinks, they got everything figured out, the whole nine yards. I can't remember the veterinary school off the top of my head, but I know that they do exist. Overall, I feel for the mental health of everyone. This is exhausting and it takes a mental toll on you no matter how hard you try. And maybe I could push myself a little harder to get those higher grades, but I don't think I would be happy. Anyways, bye.